hello everybody it's me Bronwyn and you're watching Big Sky Diamond Painting once again today I have an unboxing from Victoria's Moon um, they have sent me this canvas for free to review uh, just you've probably seen a lot of these around lately because they've been sending a lot of youtubers canvases to review so I'm going to do my best to see if they are any good. I am hopeful because I picked an image that I really like. And we're going to see if it's any good. So I'll just pull everything out of there. Okay. So I got a... 50 by 70 I want to say their criteria were that they wanted you to get a 60 by 60 or as close as you could to it so okay so the first thing I'm noticing is that it didn't come with the diamond painting pen that I saw other people get so the 50 by 70 does not qualify as a, at least a 60 by 60 because if it's at least a 60 by 60 it comes with that crystal pen that has like the wax cone on the end that you use for nail art so that is good to know that it probably goes by the width of the narrowest edge so if that's at least 60 centimeters you're going to get that pen okay so the kit that it comes with is a green tray with a cutout we have a regular pink pen with a multi-placer looks like a nine placer we have the um, flimsy metal tweezers there is a plate of a small plate of wax in here and a piece of double stick tape which I believe they send just in case the canvas needs repairing all right so um, I do like that they package the drills here in baggies because that just makes it easier um, and gives me something already pre-labeled to stick them back into. That will be nice. Let's see. They don't put the DMC, wait. Okay, they do put the DMC number on the baggie. I was just getting confused. That's not a baggie thing. All right, so there's no inventory sheet, which doesn't surprise me. There is, there's my thumbnail. We'll see if we can. Oops, I tore the paper already. I might be replacing this paper anyway because it looks like the, but there's the thumbnail. I'll put a big picture of what I got here. Um, it looks like this is all in one piece, which, oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so we'll just get to it. Okay, so I did see some people in their unboxings seeming to have to really struggle with pulling the paper back. Um, I am not actually having to struggle that much, which makes me happy because I was, based on what they were doing, really kind of worried. I was like, dang, how, how sticky is their, is their canvas that you're having to pull that much? All right, so... We'll just get most of it up here. Okay, so it has the normal lines on it from being rolled up. Um, there do seem to be a few little creases, but I think that's just from me pulling the paper off. I don't think that's a fault in the canvas. I did order a square because I feel that that is a really good test of the quality of any uh, company's, you know, product because squares are harder to, to do. And the, they did, you know, this, this end was a little a little pushed in the in the box but as I heard someone else say you're not drilling the edges so it's not that big of a deal um, one thing I would say based on other videos that I've seen from this company 
of unboxings is that they you should err on the side of a longer box. I have noticed a lot of them have been stuffed into boxes that were really too small for the width of the canvas. So I would say to try to just put a little bit of a longer box um, for your canvases because it'll help prevent this and put less pressure on the canvas. So you won't, you know, that will also um, help with this. So it's plenty sticky. There is quite a bit of overage on this side. Um, just in case you don't already, you, ha you haven't already um, been told from this, if you have sticky that's going over the key and you need to be able to read it, you can actually just put scotch tape down there, just clear scotch tape. Um, I came across that at work when I was doing one of my work projects and I didn't have any washi with me. They, we do have scotch tape at work, so I just put some down there and it actually works fine and comes right off. So go ahead and do that. So the picture I chose is this kind of like pastel, um, it's a more cartoony picture of a girl with a bunch of stuffed animals, it looks like on her head. And she's just kind of pretty. I think this is a pretty good size for it. I did run it through pixel stitch just to make sure and it did look pretty good. So, um, just at first glance, you know, everything looks pretty decent. You can see, hopefully, you can see that the symbols are pretty clear. Um, I don't see any bubbles or rivers or anything to worry about. So that makes me happy because sometimes, you know, yeah, I think that that is not too shabby. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna just put that. Oops, I'm gonna put that back down, and I may not even need actually need to put down the parchment paper like I was initially thinking. Um, I based that on the fact that it looked like this stuff was like really just insanely, insanely sticky. And I just want to make sure I don't have any, oh, all right, well, you know what, we're going to pull it back this way anyway, so we're going to fix that. But yeah, this is not bad at all. Um, I do see that it's like a different, it just says USA Twin Adhesive. It might be exactly the same as the Sonor Group Adhesive. Um, I don't have a canvas up here to be able to compare, but it may be exactly the same. So you can see the stuffed animals up here. Um, yeah, and I'm going to have to, I mean, I'm going to have to put clear tape over that just to make the copy because I always do that. Um, that's another thing I would say if you guys, if Victoria's Moon wants to take suggestions from us, I would say include an inventory sheet, even though you do this and prepackage everything. Um, having the inventory sheet is really good um, for those of us who don't like to go off of the key. Uh, but yeah, so far the canvas looks pretty good. But the canvas is probably the easiest thing to get right, as we may or may not know. Um, it's a good, nice pliable canvas. It's not super poor, it's not like poor quality or anything. Um, so far, you know, the canvas probably gets a 5 out of 5 in my book. And looks pretty good. I'm just being a little bit more picky than I usually am because I don't want to cause bubbles on this since I'm kind of doing it 
as a review piece and I want to make sure that nothing I'm doing uh, is causing damage to it. As you can see, I've torn the, the paper over there a little bit. Um, that's another thing I'd say. If, if it's going to be this wide, you should really have it in two pieces, in my humble opinion. But that's just me. Okay, I think I've got it. Pretty much smooth. So there. All right. So we're gonna just go through the drills real quick. Looks like we've got 36 colors. So all I'm gonna do is count out the colors that it came with. And we're gonna hope that we've got them all. So let's see. So there's 33. And I'll speed this up. Um. So it does look like we have everything here, all 36 colors. Um, it looks like we've got a good spread of colors. None of the insanely huge bags of color that I've seen some other people with. Um, I think, let's see, what's our biggest one? Looks like our biggest one is 333 with 24.8 grams. So not too bad, good variety. Um, you know, at first glance, the drills look okay. I do see some dimpling, but I'm not, you know, seeing a whole bunch of trash. Um, you know, we'll kind of have to see once we actually get working on it, which is going to be the real, the real test. Um, but, you know, from a preliminary standpoint, it looks okay. Um, I am not going to keep you any longer. I will catch y'all in the next video. Welcome back to Big Sky Diamond Painting. It's Bronwyn, and I am here to do a, not necessarily final review, but a review of the Victoria's Moon painting that I was given for free for an honest review, in exchange for an honest review, um, because it's taking me forever to do, and... I want to let you guys know um, what I thought after everybody's pretty much already, you know, kind of said what they, well, you know, um, I don't think a lot of people have actually finished theirs. A few, I know, I think Stone Cold Coffee Craft finished hers, but um, anyway. Um, so this is what I have finished so far. Um, my painting is a 50 by 70 centimeter. So this is what I still have left to do. So I've got maybe a quarter to a third of it done. Um, and it's just taking me a while because I'm not really feeling it. Um, and... What I have to say about it is that it's fine. The drills aren't popping, so that is a big plus with the square drills. They are not super great quality. Let's get up close here so you can see. Um, you know, there's, there's some nubs here and there. Um, there's some gapping there's some variation in 
size, but again, they're not popping and that's the most important thing to me for square drills. However, given the price of these, which I will put the, the actual price of this um, painting. Um, it's on par with Evermoment, and Evermoment drills are flawless, pretty much. So I don't really think that it's worth the, the price, if I'm being honest. Um, this is the trash I've had for just this, this part, um, so it's not too bad honestly um you know it's it's a little bit but it's mostly just either misshapen drills or drills that were the wrong color um you can see there's you know maybe a drill with a tab on it here and there but you know it's nothing like crazy So, you know, I'm not, I'm not unhappy with it, um, as far as, like, it was a free painting, um, and I am going to finish it. I'm actually working on it now. Um, I've been getting a lot more diamond painting done at work than at home, so this painting's too big to take to work with me. So, it's been going a lot slower, <laughs> um, but I'm off right now, and I've just been kind of, you know, plugging along at it. Um, and I think it's going to turn out really well and really nice. Um, so I'll put a picture of what it's going to look like here. And this is just the top part. But I do think it's going to turn out really cute. Um, the colors are, you know, they're a little off. But that's normal for a diamond painting. And I, like I said, I think it's going to look really nice. I'm not unhappy with it. I just think for the price point, which is essentially on par with ever moment they need to do better for square diamond paintings um because the drills are not you know amazing but like i said it's it's not popping it's fine the only other things i would say is this wasn't a particular problem with my painting but i did see on a lot of the people way back and i gave this feedback to alvina the lady who um is in contact with us um, that they need to make sure that their shippers are using um, a big enough to a big enough box because I think what's happening and this is my I troubleshoot it works a lot so I think this is just my troubleshooting mind um, going in but I think what's happening is they're saying so like this is a 50 centimeter painting and they're saying okay well it's a 50 centimeter painting I'm going to use a 50 centimeter box, but the good thing about Victoria's Moon is that they are um, true to size. And my cat has come to say hi. You wanna? You don't have to run away. He's gonna go over there. He doesn't like the feel of the stuff on his feet. Like, like yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, so since it's true to size, they're not taking into account the extra five centimeters of, of painting. So it's getting smushed. So I mentioned that to them and I just said, you know, they, they need to remember that it's going to be wider than the actual painting size. So remember that when selecting a box instead of just trying to shove it in there. Um, and I think those are the main things. That I have to say. The other thing I don't like is their super, super sticky canvas. Um, you know, their adhesive is super, really, like, really, really super sticky. So it's really hard to move drills around. And lately I've been working on stuff at work that's it poured glue. So it has been hard switching back because um, you kind of have to get into a certain groove when working with it but if you like um 
canvas that doesn't, you know, that doesn't move once you lay the drill down, then you will enjoy this, this adhesive. Um, it is a double-sided adhesive, but it's really not my favorite. And I've had it like kind of rolled up badly. So I'm just trying to like smooth it out right now. It is what I'm doing. Um, it's nothing that's gonna affect the finished product, but you know, I'm, I'm being kind of picky right now. Cause that's me. Um, when I talk, I get, I start noticing things and I, get paranoid. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to probably, um, after I get done talking to you guys, this is, I'm filming this on Black Friday. I'm going to try to get it up this weekend if I can get my partner to transfer stuff over on his camera. But, um, you know, I will probably, um, go back downstairs and get started on this, maybe play some Stardew Valley because um, that's also what I've been doing in my time off from work for the Thanksgiving holiday here in the U.S. And, you know, just, just kind of trying to enjoy myself. Um, so yeah, you know, <laughs> um, I will put a sales code they gave me down in the video link. I am not sure if it's still valid. Um, but if it is, and you do want to try them, go ahead and use it. I don't think it gives me any discount, um, but or like any kickback or anything um but i will i will update here if it does and i'm wrong um because i don't think it's like a referral thing like the diamond art club one and um you know if you guys want to try it out but like i said honestly at least for a square i don't know about rounds i can't speak to the rounds but, um, if you're going to spend the money, just get an ever moment, um, truly, because it's the same amount and it comes in a nicer tube and the drills are nicer. So, um, I'm going to try to whip this one out so I can start on my mystery painting that took, that I've got forever ago. <laughs> Um, so anyway, that is really all I've got for this little bit. Um, I have some unboxings in the bank that I am trying to get. Again, um, my phone doesn't directly transfer to my computer for some reason. Um, the, I don't know if it's my USB ports or what it is, but they... They don't like to transfer, so I have to rely on my partner to do it, and he doesn't always want to do it. So, um, assuming that I can get him to do that today when he gets home from work, I will start editing those and hopefully have those in up within the next week or two. Um, because I'm, you know, trying to be less bad about taking forever to get stuff up, but you know how it goes. Anyway, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Um, oh, before I say that, I should say, definitely leave a comment. Tell me if you're going to try Victoria's Moon. Um, you know, it's kind of up to you guys if you want to try them. Um, they do have some cool designs. I did email them about a few that were stolen and they did, um, take them down. Uh, so, you know, if you have, if you see that they have copyrighted designs on there, definitely contact them. Um, Alvina has been really nice. And I think, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic that they will take the feedback that they've gotten from us into account. Um, but, you know, I think 
they will they can imp they could improve and get better I don't want to discount them completely but right now with the way their product is that came to me um, I think at this price point they're not really quite worth it um, so you know leave a comment about what you think if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell if you want to get notified and I will then catch you guys on the flip side happy holidays bye bye